don't know why I did that. I literally have no idea why I did that. Hello guys, you joined me with the brand new Ford EcoSport ST line, but that isn't for discussion for today's video. What I actually want to talk about is IGTV. So let's jump in the car, have a drive and have a chat. So for those of you that have been somehow living under a rock and don't know what IGTV is, it's a new service provided by Instagram and it stands for Instagram TV, well, Instagram television. Now, it's a bold new feature from the social media platform, and in truth, I'm not convinced about it. That's merely my humble opinion. For all I know, it might take off and it might be the next best thing ever. But will it be as big as YouTube? No, I, I simply don't think it will beat YouTube. YouTube is too big to stop. That'd be like trying to stop a, a Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Al, well, Mrs. Aldi driver. Um, that would be like trying to stop a, a train at full chat with your bare hands just by standing in front of it. You know, the way how I see it, you simply can't stop YouTube. It, and in all honesty, it'll be interesting to see how, how the platform has evolved and developed in the next five or 10 years. But that's enough about YouTube. Like I say, we are well, I am discussing um, IGTV here. Now, if you don't know about the service, A, where have you been? But secondly, let me tell you what it is. So it's a separate app, although it can be accessed via the standard Instagram app, and it allows um, creators, well, anyone really, anyone that's got an Instagram account, it allows you to make a video of up to an hour long although I'm not really too sure who would want to watch a video on Instagram for an hour but maybe there's someone out there who knows now to begin with when I first had my um, my first crack with IGTV for whatever reason I could only post a video that was between 15 seconds and five minutes long. And as I'm sure you all know, I do like to talk. So for me to do a video in five minutes is rather difficult. Now, interestingly, I spoke to a few other people and they could do videos for longer. So I thought maybe it's based on how many followers you have. But you know, I'll be honest with you, I don't have that many followers on Instagram, whereas my wife, She's got about 15 and a half thousand, so her Instagram is a very popular indeed. I've only got about 1.3 thousand, so you know, minuscule in, uh, in comparison. But then I checked the other day and I realized I can now film between 15 seconds and 10 minutes long. Therefore, that gives me a greater scope in which to make a video. So I thought, you know what, I can't. I can't knock something until I've tried it. So I went out last night and filmed a quick video, my first thoughts of this car. It's still available to watch, so if you want to check it out, go on IGTV. My uh, my Instagram handle is Car Obsession UK, all one word, no hyphens or silly special characters, anything like that. So if you want to check it out, please do so but there will be more videos coming with this car uh, one of which will be a walk around then you've got the main review and I'm hoping to do a video where I'm comparing uh, comparing this to the Fiesta Active and the old Echo Sport but that's still being planned so yes I did a video with this car last night I admit it's not the most interesting car in the world because people would much rather see sports cars and supercars and hot hatchbacks but I thought well you have to start somewhere so I did a video and at present it's got a grand total of wait for it wait for it wait for it 13 views some of which are probably me so 
yeah, I must admit, I did feel a little bit frustrated that I'd put the effort in to make that video. Okay, it only took me eight minutes to film, but I still had to go out and film it. So I thought, Ugh. now I know uh, some other YouTubers have tried it. So um, Calvin's Car Diary, go check him out. He makes some very good videos indeed. Good mix of car knowledge and humor. I'm a big fan of his channel. Now I know he's dabbled with Instagram video and I've had a chat with him and he was really excited about it at first, but I think his initial excitement is starting to wane somewhat. Now it'll be interesting to see how Instagram uh, IGTV develops because as I've said earlier, I don't think it's enough to rival YouTube. I think really it's kind of a uh, bloody railway crossing at that time of day. Um, I think really it's best used as a supplement, supplement for what YouTubers or creators are currently doing. Now, this is where I want to get you guys involved. I'm hoping you can still see me because I'm in the dark. That light is pretty pathetic. That that won't do anything. Hello, can you still see me? Um, this is where I want to get you guys involved because I want to get your opinion. Would you like to see me doing videos on IGTV? Is, is that something that you would be expecting from me? Uh, because if so, I will try and make it work. Um, but at this moment in time, I'm very 50-50 about whether or not to do it. Actually, in fact, it's probably more like 80-20, 80 being, no, I don't want to do this, but it's early days. It is early days. Now, one of the things I don't like about IGTV is the fact that it's portrait mode only. And a few people have said, well, it's good to have it in portrait mode because it means, you know, it's more comfortable to, to hold your hold your phone in your hand whilst you're watching the video and yes I can see that MX5 friend yes yes I can see that but at the same time I think particularly when you're filming with cars to have it in portrait you do lose a lot of detail uh, incidentally this video won't be going on IGTV not unless I, I change my mind um, so you have to adapt your your filming style and you I have seen some youtubers that have posted existing YouTube videos onto IGTV but because they were filmed in landscape and IGTV's portrait it kind of looks well a bit crap if you ask me and I don't think it's something I would be doing because I'd much rather film in portrait specifically for IGTV but I don't really want to go through that faff if I'm going to get barely anyone watching it because, you know, like most people, I'm very busy. You know, as you may know, I do all of this around a full-time job. That's where I've come from, hence my, my clobber. Um, so to add IGTV to my list of things to do, in all honesty, I see it really as a distraction. Um, and I'm not sold on this portrait mode. Uh, let's put it this way. When you go to the cinema to see a film, obviously, what format do you see it in? You see it in a big widescreen landscape format. No one wants to go to a cinema to watch a film in portrait mode. Now, you may think that's a little bit extreme comparing IGTV to a film, but you get my point. I would much rather watch it in landscape rather than portrait, given the choice. Um, but yeah, IGTV, what do you guys think? Now, before I filmed this video, I put a poll out on my Instagram saying, what would you rather watch? I need to change down for this hill. Uh, what would you rather watch, YouTube or IGTV? Now, I, I suppose that that's a bit biased because I think people w would always choose YouTube anyway, but I thought, you know what, let me do it as an experiment and it was a landslide so youtube got 100 percent of the votes and i think really that tells you everything you need to know well in my opinion it does anyway like i say i think igtv is probably best as a secondary platform to youtube 
but yeah that's it really I don't want to talk for too long because I know this won't be the most engaging video and I've been filming for about I can't see the time because it's in the dark about 12 minutes or so um, so yeah I don't want to bore you guys to death but I really wanted to get your views on IGTV because it is a very hot topic at the moment I think some people are yes we're for it some people like me are a bit like no and like with any topic you have people that sit on the fence so that's it really what do you think of IGTV do you think it's the next next uh, big thing or do you think it's simply a fad that will turn out to be a bit of a flop and also guys would you would you like me to put more content on IGTV because if you do I will try my best but I can't make any promises you know I've been so busy lately and in truth I've worked myself very very close to burnout but anyway like I say enough talking um, time to end the video well it does feel like I've forgotten to say something but if I have I'll probably include it later in, in the video but anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope it's given you some some kind of food for thought and I really hope it sparks up a healthy discussion but if you have enjoyed this video be sure to give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't done so already I know I keep saying it recently but be sure to click that bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video and if you haven't done done so already come on guys what are you waiting for don't forget to subscribe for more car obsession boom one take I don't know why I did that I literally have no idea why I did that